everyone, how are you doing? Um, I'm off for a little trip today, and I'm off to Brighton. Now, I just thought I'd give Daisy Duke a ride out, and I thought, where can I go that's uh, still in the south, so not too far, because of time. So, I got up early, and I rode to Brighton. And I did a couple of vlogs while I was there, and this is the first one. And this is a nice fry up near Brighton Marina. So just going to show you the, uh, the little journey of me arriving. Uh, Max Caff is where I went. Brighton Marina is just wow. It's, the, it's, it's like a village there surrounded by um, yachts and boats, which is quite spectacular. Look at me, our fresco again. So here we are at Max Caff. Now, I've done a lot of research. Um, I found about five caffs actually in Brighton. And all where I could park the bike. Um, none of them along the front because, uh, I don't know, it, it just seems to me that all the tourist places uh, along the front, uh, not as good. Being a southerner, um, on the fry up, uh, fried bread and bubble is always something that uh, you want to see. Um, I know up north it's uh, the black pudding, etc. But we all like what we like, um, which is why I never call it a full English because I never have a full English. Um, a quintessential full English has the tomatoes, um, the black pudding, you know, etc. Um, so I don't bother with that. I, you can have whatever you like on, on your plate because you're ordering it after all. So why order a breakfast with a couple of items that you don't actually want and you're not going to eat? So uh, just showing you what's on offer and this is my plate of food. Yeah, so I chose this one. Uh, it's, and it's right by the marina. So I'll show you the marina when I finish this. I do bubble, it's homemade bubble as well. Oh, 
you go, I have the old bubble. A little bit noisy with the traffic, but hey, we, we go with it. Uh, the egg, very yellow yolk. However, if it's cooked, no problem. You can't help a windy day, but sort your hair out. Um, because if it's cooked properly, you don't get the, the snotty egg. And it looks to me like it is cooked properly. Sausages look banging, hey? See what I did there? Proper sausages. Yes. Fried bread so bad for you. But when it's this good. I'll take a treat once a week. Or right, maybe twice. It's all about the oil. So I was saying earlier that I've done my revision on on the caps around here and I went for this one because even though the other caps uh, had uh, places for my bike to be parked which was good um, I don't know this one seemed like it was reviewed the best and when I saw the, the images of the breakfast and I saw them sausages I thought well Let's go for that. Um, and it's right by the marina, so I'm able to show you that afterwards as well. But anyway, the breakfast, um, spot on. Homemade bubble, bacon, crispy. So the fat, if the fat's been grilled and crispy, leave it on. I'm, I'm great with it. Uh, fried bread, come on and the sausages so I don't need to go through every item but um, off the charts let's go and have a look at the marina just love the fact as well that these are houses people live here what a location just wake up to a still water every morning very very tranquil nice
like a it's like a village a big village but it's just incredible and I haven't even got to the main marina yet but uh, while we're here Daisy Duke look just wanted to I'll get a lot of questions saying about how do I get the the 360 footage right there you go so this is the 360 camera with a selfie stick so you can put it as high as you like all I do is press record and in the edit studio I then turn the camera to wherever I want it and then you get to see uh, the final edit there you go it's that simple <laughs> but uh, yeah I gave Daisy Duke a little polish yesterday uh, She's looking good. So as far as you can see, down there, that's all part of the marina village, which is incredible. Well, there you go, proper fry up, and the marina was amazing. Um, well worth a look, I must say. The only downside I would say, geography wise, the marina is about a mile from uh, Brighton Pier, so the promenade, which is a shame because if you're, if you're going by train for the day, um, or even park the car up for the day. Uh, that's that's quite a walk when you think you're on your feet all day anyway because you're out exploring uh, this beautiful place. But I loved it. Um, I've got another vlog after this as well while I like, while I was in Brighton. So uh, yeah, I hope you look out for that one. Um, if you ding the little bell, then you'll be notified when it does come out. So for now, it's Dan and John, and I'll see you in the next one.